boy. Let's see what we have today. Dear Enviro Pals. My name is Dr. Stephen Wallace. I'm a paleontologist. A paleontologist is someone who studies fossils to learn about prehistoric plants and animals. I really like it if Ray Ray could actually come visit the Gray Fossil Site. It's near a town called Gray, Tennessee. This is where we found the world's only skeleton of a fossil red panda and one of the few skulls ever found in the world. Your friend, Dr. Stephen Wallace. Well, Ray Ray, looks like we're gonna learn about fossils either way. And they have red panda fossils there too. How cool is that? Why don't you use the green screen to go visit Dr. Wallace at the Gray Fossil Site in Tennessee? And we'll stay here in the house tree and watch your adventure together. That's a great idea, guys. I'm off to learn about my ancient red panda ancestors. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. Dr. Wallace, thank you so much for your tree mail. Thanks, Ray Ray, and welcome to the Gray Fossil Site. Wow, is this the fossil site where you found the red panda skeleton? Yes, it is. Dr. Wallace, was the red panda found here at the Gray Fossil Site the first one found in North America? No, there was one other found up in Washington State, except there they only found a single tooth, whereas here we have a whole skeleton. How common are red panda fossils? Actually, they're pretty common in Europe and Asia. They just happen to be rare on this continent. Dr. Wallace, I have a question that maybe the boys and girls at home would like you to answer. Most people confuse the red panda with the giant pandas. Though I believe we're much better looking than those guys, what are the real differences between those two? Actually, even though a lot of people do confuse them, you know, they do eat the same thing, they do look somewhat similar, uh, the giant panda is actually a bear, whereas the red panda is more closely related to raccoons and weasels. That's what I thought. How old is the red panda skeleton that you found here at the Gray Fossil Site? Everything at the Gray Fossil Site is roughly the same age. It's between four and a half and seven million years old. Dr. Wallace, you're called a paleontologist. What is a paleontologist? A paleontologist is just anyone who studies past life. And that can be life that's extinct, like dinosaurs, or we could just be working on relatives of living animals, like the tapers we have here at Gray. How do paleontologists know how old fossils are? Well, a lot of sites, we actually have volcanic ash or other minerals that we can use to date the site. We don't have that here at Gray, but we do have animals that are common to those sites that have been dated. And so we've used those animals to restrict the age of the site. What equipment is needed to collect the fossils? Well, that could really vary depending on where you're digging. In some places, you're lucky. You can use small things, in fact, your fingers, or even just small dental tools. Uh, but in many cases, you have to remove a lot of rock first, and so then you get to use big things like shovels or bulldozers. Dr. Wallace, how can I find fossils in my area, like in Nigeria? There are actually rules for collecting fossils in some areas, and so as long as you are allowed to look for them, you can find them just about anywhere. Just look for places where the ground is naturally eroding, maybe somebody's digging a basement or a foundation, and poke around, you might get lucky. What should I do if I find some fossils? If you find some fossils, the best thing to do is to contact an expert, maybe a local museum, and let them at least take a look at them. They can tell you more about them, and hopefully find out if maybe there's more there to find. Wow, Dr. Wallace, that sure was interesting learning about my ancestors, the red panda, and the great fossil site. But it's getting late, and I have to get back to Naturia. I can't wait to tell all my friends about paleontologists and how you use fossils to learn about prehistoric animals and plants. Okay, I better get going. Bye, Dr. Wallace. Bye, Ray Ray, and thanks for visiting the Gray Fossil Site and Natural History Museum. See you next time. Shabingo! Wow.